<laughs> Did you really? Yeah. You stalled it? I made it! Quick way to scare the whole team. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So we are about to head out into the mountains. We're bringing the Hellcat. Uh, Jay's out there in the red car. And then we're definitely taking the Mach 1, which is probably the biggest one. We switched out the tire setup that we had. So we had the Mickey Thompsons on, which is when it was super sketch, not good track tires. And we have the stock ones back on. So we're about to see how it actually does. <laughs> <laughs> It is just so beautiful here. I love it. <laughs> so we're just stretching our legs right now. We had to get some air in the Hellcats tires and then we're gonna make our way home. But first we're gonna stop at a place the locals call and we're gonna play with the cars just a little bit more. But I can get you guys coming.
tires. It's not the tires that's making mock sketchy to drive when you're pushing it. I mean, I didn't push it as hard as I did on the track, but I was pushing pretty hard when we were, you know, cruising through the mountains and it's still just not right. It's still like, it's, you don't feel it until you're like kind of closer to the limits of the car and uh, that's the scary part. So it's definitely not the wheels and the tire set up because right now I have the stock wheel and tire set up on the mock. Um, it's the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires and right after I bought the car, we swapped it out for the Mickey Thompsons. So, you know, it's basically a brand new set of tires and it's just still something sketchy. We got an alignment immediately after the accident, so it's not that, but you can still tell that like something's wrong. I don't know. Tell me what you think about this. <laughs> all right, so he's really dirty after being out all day, but you can kind of see, so this is the side here, and this is the side of the car that was hit. And then let's go on over to the driver's side, the side that was not hit. And do you see that window gap? Go back over to this side again. Yeah, so something's just definitely not right there. So right now we have the stock wheel and tire set up. I freaking hate it. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Maybe it's just because, you know, these are smaller. I think these are 19s. Whereas the RTR Tech 7s, they're 20s. And it's just a more of an aggressive look. So right now he just looks super soft to me, which I do not like. So I'm going to swap it back and I'm just going to play it safe for now. Maybe like the next set of tires, I'll do the Michelin, I think you guys were recommending doing the Michelin comp tires, which is like a really good track tire. Right now, I just really want some aftermarket wheels on here because he just looks super stock. And especially with the way that he sounds with the header and the exhaust setup right now, it's just, it doesn't make sense to have such a loud, scary sounding car to look bone stock. <laughs> also, should probably talk about the burnout, I guess. <laughs> so I was... I was trying multiple times to get that burnout in mock. I've done one before, but it's just been a very long time since I did my last burnout in the mock one. <laughs> and I kept trying it. Um, I didn't turn off the traction control the first couple of times. I had Jay with me in the passenger seat and he was getting drone footage. So I was having him kind of put me in traction control, but then I kept accidentally switching it into track mode, which reset the settings. So <laughs> I was really stressed out, okay? That's what was going on there. So I was really stressed. And then by the time I finally got it, you know, I was so like stressed and worked up that I did like floor it. I redlined it and then dumped the clutch as hard as I could. And um, yeah, you know, pulled a typical Mustang move there. <laughs> Another thing that I had just learned about the Mach 1 is that you can no lift shift, um, which is a good thing I didn't try on my own. Like I learned it and then I clarified it with uh, Brandon's brother, Matthew, and he told me, <laughs> educated me <laughs> that it's not, like I thought you could just shift through gears without having to push in the clutch, <laughs> but it's actually just the accelerator. So it's a good thing I didn't try it on my own. I also, I also haven't tried it yet either because I'm too scared. Um, it's just like uncomfortable. So maybe I'll do that one of these days soon when I'm feeling brave, which is not today because I'm freaking tired, which means I'm going to be ending this video here. Um, so that way I can head inside and give those good boys some love for being so good on their own all day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll probably post additional updates on the cars next week. So make sure that you're subscribed with your notifications turned on. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Freaking stock, stock mock. Oh, hello, okay. Mm -hmm. What's up everyone, a happy fourth. I hope you guys have a great holiday weekend. We are about to head out to a, another local meet. So we're gonna bring Hellcat, as well as Jay's red car, and the Subaru. Brandon spent most of the afternoon cleaning all the cars only for it to start raining. But hopefully it's still a good time. Well, let's go.
like that. That's cool. Oh, we got them, Rams. sponsored with so I'll have my links for them in the description box and so make sure you check out their products as well as my other videos with them but yeah it's raining pretty good <laughs> 